I'm Jaffa Zubaydi, AutoCAD and Revit Architecture Drafter. In this lesson, I will explain how to create dynamic block with copy array and alignment actions. It is very handy to have a practical and very useful block that can copy itself very fast and accommodate itself in any direction. In this way, you save precious time in the achieving your project drawing. It's all about speed and efficiency. Let's get started. Here we have, <clears throat> we open first the uh, block editor and we have two choices. Either we uh, choose an existing block and apply the actions uh, on it or to choose any object and create a block from zero and uh, apply the action on it. If we choose inserting uh, existing block by insert a block and we get uh, we can browse to our computer files and insert the block or to type in the command line letter I and we get the same result or the second choice uh, to make uh, a new block either from this uh, icon make a block make a block and then we enter the block definition to de decide what kind of def definitions we want to our a block or to type letter B and enter uh, we will get the same thing we can choose the a simple form just like this and apply our uh, uh, definitions and creating a block from it but I will choose another more sophisticated uh, object uh, to, uh, to explain more things on it I have I have one when, when we say we select this object as you notice uh, from so many uh, grips it is not a block because the block has only one insertion point we select this object and go copy and take it to our file paste and we have this, we have to uh, remove uh, grid lines not to be uh, disturbed we have this uh, block before I start uh, creating the, bl the block I want to mention two points uh, for this specific uh, object first uh, I draw the heart line here because the heart line for the pile sheet is the standard line on which the all the dimensions on or calculations uh, depending on the heart line not on the back or front side of the uh, pile sheet uh, second about the uh, distance we will use it in uh, copy array uh, we have to know it and to measure it from this crosshair to this crosshair and it is 1 meter 340 millimeter we have to uh, put it in mind later to use it but why from this not from the end of the uh, pile sheet because in the construction uh, this distance between the crosshair here and the end of the uh, pile sheet is overlapping uh, area between the first and the next uh, pile sheet for that reason it is not considered in the uh, uh, measuring now we will start creating our block either uh, B in the command line or from this icon and we enter the block definition first to give the name to this uh, block uh, 
this uh, pal sheet is AZ13 it's among many uh, sorts of uh, pal sheets and we have to uh, choose the insertion point from pick point I choose either this cross cross uh, lines or the uh, cross lines on the other side and the insertion point uh, can be changed anytime but for the spe this specific object is the best uh, other thing we have to select objects to be included in this uh, block we select all of them enter we have here uh, several choices if we choose delete it means after we uh, making the block it will disappear from uh, uh, from AutoCAD editor <coughs> but sorry but if we uh, choose convert to block it will stay in the uh, AutoCAD editor but if we uh, if it is deleted it, it means that it is uh, we can insert it from our computer anytime we need and to check this uh, allow exploding uh, if we need to make changing to the uh, to the block we can from this choice we can uh, do what what any changing we want and the most important things in, in our lesson this choice open in the block editor it is uh, it uh, it launches the uh, a block editor after we click up OK we entered the block editor now we click OK after we make uh, our choices and definitions here the block editor I want to explain uh, several things before we start uh, uh, creating the uh, actions. First, if you if you are not satisfied with the background of the editor, you can ch change it from option, option, uh, display, colors, and you can go to block editor, uniform background, and you can uh, change it to any color you like. But I am satisfied with this color; I will not change it. So cancel the close. And here. On this uh, uh, icon on this bar uh, create a block definition if you want to change uh, in the definitions of the block here to save it here if you want to save it in another name save as and here to close it uh, after finishing uh, creating the block and here also important we will use it test the block after we create any action we have to test it and see if it works properly uh, we have here the uh, authoring uh, palette authoring palette has many uh, several uh, tabs parameters actions parameters set and constraints parameters to, cho to choose the parameter on which we will apply the action then the action which applied on the parameter here parameter sets combine between uh, parameters and action and constraints that uh, another uh, functions can be applied now we will start with uh, with creating the uh, array array action first we have to choose a parameter in this case the liner is the uh, is the best and we choose from this point and I explained why to this point and we put the text just like the dimension but we put it in any place we want here we uh, notice this exclamation mark it means this parameter is not connected with any action and before we start we have to uh, select and to choose how many uh, number of grips 
from properties control one you get uh, the properties to choose instead of uh, two groups one group this group from which uh, the block will be dragged and the uh, action array will be applied remove the uh, properties now double click on the uh, double click on the uh, text of uh, parameters we have choices either this list with this choices or in the command line as you see the same choices array or move or scale or stretch any action we want to apply we want in this case array click array he asks us to select objects we select all the objects enter and we asked about the distance of array the distance we measured is the length of the uh, pile sheet it is one one meter three hundred forty millimeter enter now the exclamation mark disappear and we get here the uh, the action it means that this parameter connected to the array action now we will uh, choose another uh, uh, action pa parameter it's a alignment uh, parameter to uh, get a block then that accommodate itself in any direction we, w we want uh, as I mentioned for this specific uh, uh, object the uh, pile sheet always the uh, heart line is the standard line or the guideline uh, and all the calculations or dimensions uh, considered on the heart line we choose this point and the end point and we get the uh, alignment on this uh, on the heart line now we, uh, we will test if uh, this block work works properly we click here test the block and we get an editor uh, draw a polyline polyline to in any uh, any direction to see if the of our of our actions uh, works first to test uh, the alignment as you see it will alignment work works uh, properly and to see if the array works properly or not from this group drag it works perfect then we uh, close the test and we go to the to our uh, block edit we finished the creating uh, dynamic block now to save it save and then close the editor and we turn back to our uh, AutoCAD editor as you see we get here for alignment good and this for uh, array we will test it again also we do any line any direction first the alignment it works perfect and now to test the array it works also perfect now we have an, an awesome block that uh, is very useful and can accommodate itself in any direction and multiply itself in any number it won't uh, think about uh, using this in uh, a big project and when when you need hundreds or thousands of this piece in different directions it is for sure will be useful Thanks for watching this video.